This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villafuerte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Tuesday marks six weeks since Kellogg's workers in Omaha went on strike, and that strike is still going strong. For a month and a half, nearly 500 Omaha residents have been on the picket lines around the clock at the Kellogg plant. And even with the holidays coming up, a deal is still out of reach. Employees are still looking for the company to eliminate the two tier pay and benefit system, along with making it easier for employees to reach legacy status so that all employees can get paid equally. And out of the latest on the John Deere strike affecting thousands of workers across Iowa, union members will vote on a third agreement between the company and the United Auto Workers Union on Wednesday night. And some union members say there are minor changes between this deal and the company's best and final offer, which included immediate 10% raises. And I'm 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. A cold front is moving through the area tonight, and behind that cold front, yes, winds will pick up and that will blow in some much cooler air for us as we get into Wednesday. But we also see some of the clouds sticking around as we go through tonight and throughout most of tomorrow. Those temperatures, we're going to be dropping back down into the upper 30s and low 40s by early Wednesday morning or as you're heading out the door for that morning commute. Temperatures are going to struggle, too, to warm throughout the day, so... Don't expect it to be quite as nice as Tuesday afternoon was. Tonight, though, windy. We could see some of those gusts up to about 30 to 35 miles per hour, mainly out of the north, blowing in that much cooler air for us. That'll drop us back down closer to 40 by early Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, though, we only warm to about 49. A little bit cooler even on Thursday. Low 40s for afternoon highs. Still breezy. South winds return on Friday to push us back into the low 50s. We stay in the low to mid 50s on Saturday before another cold front comes in drops us back down into the upper 40s on Sunday, closer to 40 by Monday, and staying in the 40s for next Tuesday.